as you can see on the left, I'm pulling into Dollywood's Dream More Resort. I figured some of you would like to see this. It's where I'm going to be staying tonight. And I usually come, this is the first time I've ever been here. What am I talking about? I usually come. But I always go traveling out of season as much as possible for crowds, but also for price reasons, of course. What else? Save myself about a third off of peak season by coming this way. As you can see the little festive signs. Just steps to song and imagination. What's this say? Where's where the beauty of the mountain, Smoky Mountains? Well, something. To warm your spirit to find God's gift. Well, that's great. I figured some people would like to check this out. I always show dreary, gloomy days. So I thought, well, what the heck? You can't call it the real Appalachia and not show the real good parts of it, too. So I will pull into Dollywood's Dream More Resort. I'll show you a little bit about the room and the whole nine yards if you're interested. If not, I'd click the stop button on this old video right about now. Let's see. I don't know what this old boy's doing, but it don't look good for me. And as I said before, this is my first time here, so I am not sure where to go. And you will stumble right along with me, thank you. Testing out the old camera mic combo. Finally getting things settled in, I do believe. Hopefully. Court, what's that say? Test registration and lobby. Well, that makes, that would be me. Hey, I'm good. How about yourself? Doing just fine. Are you here to check in? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. I have just a couple of safety policies to make you aware of before you head inside. Okay. Uh, the first thing involves a waiver. Uh, depending on where you made your reservation, you may or may not have been made aware of it, but they are asking everybody to sign it. It's just a waiver of liability because of the virus information here. Okay. Uh, there's a place for signatures on back. They'd like everybody that's staying here to be represented. Okay. Uh, they'll take it up at the front desk, so you, have oh, okay. you don't yeah. have to worry about filling it out right now. Already? Uh, the second thing is they are asking you to wear a mask in the confined public areas. Not in your room, obviously, or in pool, restaurant area, but in the confined public space. Okay, good deal. Are you interested in assistance with the baggage today? Uh, no thanks. Okay. Just what, park down here somewhere? And... Yeah, these first three places are, are reserved for the, the restaurant's takeout. Okay. So if it's not inconvenient for you, just on the other side of that van, or there might actually be the part of the spot. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you, boss. Enjoy hey. your stay, boss. Thank hey. you for coming to see us. Well, thank you. All right. Well, <clears throat> let's see what we got going on. Hey guys, Shane Simmons. And if you're like me, you're not even gonna believe what I'm about to tell you, but once a blue moon, somebody else sent me a message saying, Shane, you only show the dark, dreary parts of Appalachia. And maybe I'm guilty as charged, I don't know, but I thought I'm gonna mix in some of the fun stuff because there's a lot of good stuff too, um, as you're about to see, uh, especially down here in the Smoky Mountains. And that is where I, me and my son come here pretty often. So far it's been once every month at least. So I thought, well, let's show you around a few things here. So I thought I'd come down here and stand the Dollywood Dream Resort. I think that's what it's called, Dollywood Dream Resort. I'll correct that if it's wrong, but I'll show you around my room here and I'll let you see what it looks like in case you haven't been here or thought about staying before. So as you come in, the entrance, of course, straight in front of you is the room part, but here's the bathroom. It's kind of neat here. I just noticed that they've got the logo on the toilet paper. Now, isn't that cute? I'm not sure what that feels like, but hopefully I won't find out either. But and there is the actual shower. A pretty standard bathroom. Can't complain with that. 
As you come back here, let's see, we got in storage area, place you can put your coats and shirts and whatnots. And there's where the magic happens. By magic, I'm talking about sleep, in my case anyway. Okay, let's see, let's have a dream on the little lamp. How cute. A little piece of artwork. Television, and hopefully they got a fridge because I got all manner of Diet Cokes with me. Yes. You got the little safe and all that stuff, so good. I was blessed with being greeted with some hot cider and a goo-goo cluster when I came in too, and it couldn't have come at a better time because I could use a snack. Neat little mirror. Got the little Lee logo. The Dollywood Dream More logo. Some guitars have guitars. <laughs> guitars? Yeah. Guitars. So, not the best view I've ever had. I gotta tell. Well, actually, I take that back. I thought I was just staring at this roof. That's all I saw when I walked up. And then to the right. Ooh. Kind of funny because when I checked in, they were the water is not working. It supposedly still isn't, so I don't know when that's going to be up. But the, the pool is working. Kind of neat on the other side of the building. If you can see that over there, the, the signature butterflies from Miss Dolly Parton herself. Cool. I'm gonna look some, some of the other stuff here. I'll walk up front and show you the lobby. Not the lobby, I'll show you that eventually, but special room for Yes, it looks like something straight out of the shining. This is a great time of year to get a killer deal and to here with no company but the downside is you're all alone and it's kind of creepy actually there's a few guests here no jack torrance i'll show you more of this building eat my goo goo cluster first and drink my cider and then i'll show you around Well, that's about the most graceful thing you over here.
nothing is impossible if you can just believe. Don't live your life in shackles when faith can be your key. The winner is one who keeps determination in his eyes, who's not afraid to fly and not afraid to try. Thank you, Dolly. it might be a good to give you a view of the uh, hotel at night I'm coming up on it I don't know if they do anything special for it or not but eh, I'm not too overly excited about it Woods Dream More Resort. Here we go. Yeah, nothing to get too excited about at night. Not that I would expect it to, but you never know. Came down here though. This is nice. It's something you need definitely need to check out when you get a chance. It's a different experience. 
in a lot of your other motels and hotels and resorts and whatever else, condos and whatever else they rent up here. It's a little different taste. changes colors. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool to see this fountain at night. It changes colors. Heck yeah, that's worth the price of admission. I like it. Here's the entrance as you come in as well. You can see the rocking chair setup they got here. Just like home. Or at least just like a cracker barrel, right? I thought it might be nice to get a nighttime view of the pool area. Let me zero in on that a little bit more for you. It looks a little bit better. I saw a little bit earlier they do snores this time of night, so I didn't register it unfortunately, but it is available. Appears to be a light crowd for the s'mores, as in no one. It's nice and warm right here. That's for sure. I gotta tell you friends, it doesn't get much better than this right here. Good way to end the evening. Have a nice warm toasty fire. All by myself. until that lady walked in the picture. Then she's gone. I didn't look very inviting, I guess. Beautiful. I think I'll call it a night. Hmm, not sure about that. Well, the night's not done just quite yet. I got some banana bread from that pantry, and it is amazing. I just wanted to give it an endorsement. Yum, yum, yum. Alrighty, so it's the morning after, so I want to give a wrap-up opinion here. I want to go with the cons first, which would probably most likely be the bed. It is pretty daggone stiff, and the pillows are pretty hard, too, so they're both pretty unforgiving, and uh, I like a softer bed. Some people like that kind of bed. Not my thing. Imagine it's kind of like what would it be feel like to go to a museum and see a statue of a bed made out of marble and then sleep on it. That's exactly what it felt like for me, so I didn't get the greatest rest on that. <clears throat> the pros, of course, as you could see, was the atmosphere. Gosh, it's amazing. Uh, the pool, the fire pits, the shower here. You could boil an egg in there. It gets so hot if you wanted to, which I love. And the towels are great. Um, so overall, and the amenities are good too. You got that pantry, you got restaurant, you got um, 
you know, you can get food delivered to your room up till I think 11 o'clock. So a lot of pros to this place. Overall, my opinion would be it's, it is worth staying very much so and checking out. I wish they could make these beds a little softer, more comfortable, but that's the only really complaint I can have. The rest of it, really good, really, really good. So I give this place a good old thumbs up. Good job, Dolly, you did it again. And hopefully you guys gives you an idea of whether you might like to stay here or not, but I do recommend it.